My computer is slow. Why is it so slow? I'm gonna create a new canvas in Adobe Dimension and start with dragging and dropping in my jar. Ooh, I've gotta zoom out, it came in large, and there we have it. I'm going to click stick to ground and see that it is stuck to the ground. I'm just gonna get all my objects in place first before I worry about any of the textures and materials. So here's my jar, or here's my lid, and then here's my jar. Here are my lid dots. Wow, I named it lid dots. Thanks Adobe for making my um, dreams come true with that one. So I'm gonna take lid and lid dots, go to align, and get these centered up. You can even click bring to the top if I want. And then with the lid dots, I'm gonna bring those down as such. Let me see where they are. That looks like they're in the right place. So I'm going to group those together so that when I add the materials, I know that those two need to be treated the same. And then for the jar dots, similar, I'm going to drag those in, rotate, line those up. I need to adjust the view to see how I'm doing. Seems I need to bring the dots down or bring the dots up slightly. They'll be more on the inside when I apply the glass. We'll be able to see those. And I will group the jar and jar dots together so that we have our two pieces nested, jar and lid. And the final step to align these pieces, center and center. Move the lid around until I find the spot where it's supposed to go. We'll have to scale it up just a little bit, so I'll come to size and I will put in 475, 478, and that gets us to a good spot. I think I'm gonna have to make these lines a little bit smaller. I think they're sticking out just a tad. Let me bring that size in to 460. And sometimes you have to realign things. Realign. Now it's time to add our materials, our textures. So we'll start with the jar and I will drag glass over that bottom glass piece. And I will also make sure that I go back and drag glass over the jar dots. And when we hit our preview, those are showing and they look like they're connected. I'm really loving how that looks. Let me drag it around. That looks great. Next, I'm going to add the metal to the lid. I want to match that gold in the example. I think it's really nice. So I will start by turning off that render preview. You can hear my fan kicking on. Always save the rim if you need to. I'll grab this metal and grab it to the lid. I'll also grab metal and bring it to the dots. And now let me look back at my reference material. The lid looks more brushed than it does really high gloss. So I'm gonna replicate that by adjusting some settings. I'll come over to the lid and I will choose roughness. I'm gonna bring the roughness way up. It'll still be metallic, but it'll have more of that brushed look. And I'll also come to the color. I want it to be that nice gold that we had. So I'll play around scrubbing in this orange color. I could also go back here and use my eyedropper to select the color and grab the hex code so that it's really exact. Ta-da! So now I wanna remember the roughness setting that I have selected, because I wanna also apply that to the dots. Change the roughness to 75. Oh, it actually did it for all of them. Yay! All right, so I thought we were gonna to have to change every single one of these, but it turns out when you go to this group number and select, you can choose your setting. We're gonna have the roughness match 75 as the lid, and then the base color. I selected it from the um, saved colors, and it looks like it applied it to all. So that is great news for us. That saves a lot of time. So there's our jar. Let's look at the preview and see if we need to do any lighting changes. Well, it just looks fantastic. And whatever you need to place inside, you totally can. Um, if you also wanted to play with some different lid positionings, 
So you don't have to have it in position. You could do something fun where you have the lid kind of floating above, have it look kind of more abstract. You could rotate it, send it backwards a little bit. We'll send it this way. I forgot to make the lid hollow. So what you'll need to do is do a similar but opposite trick as the bottle. Put an anchor point there, an anchor point here, and then we'll drag this inside one to the outside. But let me re-export that so you can see with the actual inside lid. Um, I think we can even select the one we had before and replace it. So the lid, drag it in, there it is, here you have it. And now you can see that there's an inside of the jar. So just repeat the process I just did, but <laughs> add in that inset so that you have a hollow jar inside. And that's how it's done. Let me know if you have any questions and comment below with what video you want to see next. And subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, guys.